Now, tonight's city council meeting started off with several public comments from citizens about safety. ABC 17's Isabella Roberts joins us live from City Hall. And Isabella, many people were questioning the crime levels in Columbia at tonight's meeting. That's right. Tonight's meeting began with people expressing their concern over the crime and policing here in Columbia. Three people kicked off tonight's Columbia City Council focused on the crime in the community. Tracy Wilson Kleekamp started off the comments by asking for transparency. Or if something is misstated, it should be said that I was wrong or I made a mistake or a clarification. That would be helpful. It would build trust. At least I think so. And Don Weaver with the CPOA called the crime in Columbia an urgent situation. This is an urgent situation. And what CPOA is asking for from the community and from the council is that you do two things. You support law enforcement and then you support law enforcement officers. Tanya Heath created a three-step plan that involves ways citizens can bring safety to Columbia. It involves a, quote, common sense pledge that she calls on city council members and Mayor Buffalo to sign and encourage citizens to sign volunteer opportunities for residents, and a call for the city council leaders to attend a first responders shift to see what they endure on a daily basis. Heath told me that she hopes her plan keeps safety at the forefront of people's minds. But really, what's going to take it to turn things around in Columbia is that if every citizen finds the courage to make a bit of difference, there's 120,000 of us. There are more good people who can do more good things with courage to turn our city around so that we have less crime. Morgan, Lucas, council members didn't say much in response, but I could see them nodding along and looking over material given to them. Reporting in Columbia, Isabella Roberts, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Isabella. You can watch that city council meeting on our website. It's abc17news.com.